Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm excited to show you how to bridge funds from Ethereum to Moonbeam using Wormhole's Portal Bridge. Unlike many other types of bridges, Wormhole's Portal Bridge is unique in that you never have to retrace your steps and head back to the chain on which your asset is originally wrapped uh, in order to bridge to another chain. So it's very seamless and intuitive, and you can bridge from chain to chain using the Portal Bridge uh, without any problems. The link to use is portalbridge.com, and let's go ahead and choose Ethereum as our source chain, and I'll choose Moonbeam as the destination chain. I'll go ahead and connect my MetaMask, and I'll select the account that I'd like to connect to Portal Bridge. Press connect. And next, I'll select a token. Uh, there are a variety of assets to choose from. In this case, I only have two assets here on this particular account. So we'll choose Ethereum. And I'll go ahead and bridge 0.01 ETH. I'll press next. And we'll be asked to switch to the Moonbeam network. So we'll go ahead and switch networks. And there are two different options here for the claim step. As of the time of recording of this video, the automatic redemption option is not yet available on Moonbeam. Uh, however, the manual step is quite, quite easy. We're just gonna be submitting a single transaction and we'll be prompted to uh, once we arrive uh, on Moonbeam. So let's go ahead and press next. And we'll be prompted to switch back to the Ethereum network and we'll go ahead and press transfer. Next, you'll see a confirmation screen here where you can see the chain that you're bridging from, the asset that you're bridging, uh, as well as the destination chain and the destination contract address. And if you hover over it, you can press view on MoonScan and you can see the exact contract address. So let's go ahead and press confirm. And we'll go ahead and confirm the transaction on Ethereum. You'll see the transaction hash of your transaction on Ethereum here. And if you'd like to check on the status of that transaction, you can go ahead and press view on Etherscan. And we'll just have to wait a couple of blocks for finality on Ethereum. Okay, our transaction has been finalized on Ethereum. So we're now gonna be prompted to switch to the Moonbeam network. And then we can go ahead and press redeem. And I'll confirm the transaction in MetaMask. And that's it, our bridge transfer is successful. You can click on view on MoonScan to view the transaction on Moonbeam. And we can go ahead and add the new token to our MetaMask. So let's go ahead and do that. I already have the token added, so it has this warning pop up. Um, but you'd go ahead and press add token. There is one last thing that I want to cover. Given that this bridging is a two-step process, let's say that you accidentally close a window or you forget before you go ahead and actually take that claim step on the Moonbeam network. Well, your funds are not lost. Uh, there is nothing to worry about. There's just one more step that you need to take, and that is the redemption step. This is only if you do not take the redemption step when prompted. Let's say you close a window and you come back later. So all you need to do is go ahead and get the transaction hash on the origin chain. So this was the original transaction here in MetaMask. So go ahead and copy this hash, head over to the redeem tab, and go ahead and choose the type, which is token, the source chain, which is Ethereum, and go ahead and paste the source transaction hash, and go ahead and press recover. It's that simple. And that's it. We successfully bridged 0.01 ETH from the Ethereum network to Moonbeam. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.